So this is our second day on the St. Joe River, and today we're gonna head to town of Avery, down the little back road that is not open to cars. Don't know much about it. Supposedly it goes through, follows the river the whole way. We'll see. Avery right here. I think there might be a, a little bit more. There's the RV park. So we just tumbled off of that road that used to be a former rail line. It's now a two two track little road and it's stunning back there. You kind of come around a corner and expect you're gonna like run right into a bear. Right. <laughs> uh, definitely something you want to do on a mountain bike though. I oh, feel yeah. like. But it's cool. It follows the river. Fairly hilly actually. Yeah surprisingly hilly. And then you pop out here in this little town of Avery. All sorts of uh, interpretive stuff on the tables. There's a map of the old uh, Milwaukee Road, which is the, the rail line that, that this came on uh, through the town of Avery here. Turns out it's the same rail line as the John Wayne Trail uh, across Washington. There's all this cool stuff here. There's ice cream in a fly shop that was built by a guy who also bikes. All these great places to stay, good spot. This is like seriously bike fishing heaven. Five miles of continuous river access. And look at the scenery, just stunning. Road that used to be a rail line. It'd be hard to think of a better spot where you could go bike fishing than this. Okay, you guys, this place is amazing. We I'm almost don't want to tell you. Five <laughs> miles of no car access. Five miles to an awesome, awesome river. Don't screw this up. <laughs>